Ugh. Hey, it's me, T. From the Pattersons, take the train to the bed. Oh, my glasses a little bit. Whatever. Not the, what do I need to see the glasses out of? You know, I'm not looking at y'all. Y'all are looking at me. What, what the heck? Yeah, I make more glasses than I put my, my shirt. My T-shirt is wrinkled. My wife would be mad. People would be mad. Hey, but T-shirts with the hay. Oh, man. <laughs> we <laughs> well, I have to go out and show any, uh, showing y'all. I should iron a T-shirt. But my grandmother told me better. My wife won't let me out this house like that, even though she's in South Africa. I'm here. My sister probably won't get up, but she don't know awareness right now. So there you go. Yeah, how, how women take care of you, you know what I mean? They make sure you have to be most presentable possible because you represent, you know, you representing the clan, you know, you representing the tribe, you know, you rep you representing, you know, so you got to look whatever. That's what they say. But here's this other thing. One time I heard uh, Dick Gregory, was it Dick Gregory? Yeah. He said that, uh, you know, the slaves, of course, they used to break the whole, break all the equipment and stuff like that because they whatever. But they also wore the most raggedy, you know, raggedy clothes, whatever have you. Just think about that. We dress ourselves up to impress, but who are we impressing? We're in a state of, of well, slavery, <laughs> a, 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 a state of disrepair. Let's put it that way. We need to be repaired. That's why we need reparations. But we're in a state of disrepair. And so, but we want to dress up to disrepair like we, you know, like we all that and bag of chips, as I used to say. Anyway, black cherry juice, pure. Mm. Need to be pure. Yeah, pure. I'm serious. Say, look, pure. Pure black cherry juice. You know, it says right here, right, right on the thing. Black, dark, sweet cherry juice. That's all that's in it. That's the ingredients. That's what you need to get. Put stuff in your body that, you know, that's that's good for you. But that's not what I want to talk about this this morning. And it is morning. Uh, I woke up and uh, and I put on the wall. I put on army. You know, army Jose Frippong, You know, out of out of Georgia. You know, um, I, let me just put it this way. I support three, I do three Patreons, only three. Three is one of my numbers. I guess I could do, you know, like 12, that would add up to three, but I ain't got that kind of dope, you know. I support Iron Man, because I've listened to Iron Man for a long time, even way before he read everybody. I was just listening, because I, I first got turned on Iron Man because he's, with the philosophy, I have a passing interest in philosophy. So I ran into him, played that funky music, you know, and I said, oh, so I just started watching a long time ago. And then also uh, Home Team, Home Team, that's African history. I just like the brother's work. You know, I'm in a Patreon, but he said to me, he said, I don't listen to none of that stuff. I just want to support the brother. Then the last one is this young brother out of, out of uh, LA, Kenya, uh, uh, Louis Spot. And I support him because he's, he's a young brother, you know. <laughs> and and uh, I want to support, well, I like to support people when they start, not when they get big. Then they, you know, let the world have them, you know. But here's the thing Irony was talking about this morning, which is really interesting, um, is that it seemed like the, the black guy, the, the black preacher won, won you know, he, he won his be senator or something like that. And uh, you know, he's the one that's, that's a preacher for the Ebenezer Baptist Church, you know, Martin Luther King's uh, a, a church down there in, in, in Georgia, Atlanta. Um, and but, but <laughs> I was listening to Dr. Reddy Short one time, he had somebody on, that, that, that they were saying that outside that church, right, Right, right across the street, there's an open like drug market. There's a, you know, there's a lot of homeless around here, whatever have you. So, that's the story of churches. I remember one time I was interviewing uh, Dr. James Small. He said, you know, <laughs> the church, you know, those 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 parishioners they will walk over the homeless to get into their church every Sunday because they don't live in the neighborhood anymore. They don't care about their neighborhood. Blah blah blah. But I'm not casting disparity on that. What? What I was talking about this morning is about, you know, he didn't say gatekeepers, but power brokers. So basically, this guy is beholden to Stacey Abrams. Do you remember Stacey Abrams? He's on YouTube all the time begging, begging for money for the Democratic Party. I guess he wants to be a real power broker in the Democratic Party. You know, they, they had Mark Ruffalo doing the same thing. And also, the, uh, they had the other guy, Mayor, uh, uh, Mayor Pete. Right? He used to do it. But they, they, they took me off, I guess, as he was part of the cabinet. He got paid off already. Okay, well, whatever. So, um, so, so I mean, was basically saying, this is not a victory for, for black people. This is a victory for Stacey Abrams, because now she becomes a part power broker, her quest to be governor, I guess, and also, you know, be the Democrat Party, the establishment, whatever, the corporate, the corporatists, now they go, you know, will go through her somehow, you know, that a power thing goes. But well, more interesting to me in this whole thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. This is a good, I know this sounds like a defeat. It's a victory for, for you know, whatever it is, but it's defeat for, you know, people who know, right? 
it's not a defeat. It's just what it is. And he was also saying that Georgia is be, be like a, a blue state, like Virginia is a blue state. I'm from Virginia. I'm in Virginia right now. And it's so true, you know, because what happens with a blue state, they just mean a lot of the power brokers, you know, like your congressmen, your senators, even your governors might be blue. Well, sometimes not even your governors are blue, but, um, but a lot of the power there is 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 blue. Uh, uh, that's the blue. But but you can have a lot of Republicans in your state senators, you know, in your in your local stuff, you know, the little enclaves, whatever have you. So you got to look at that stuff. But this is what ADOS and uh, a bunch of other people are realizing now. The politics has really come to the fore. Um, thank you, Donald Trump. <laughs> Come to the fore. People are now examining what really how things really work. You know, uh, say the, the, the wimp out of the of the so called squad. You know, and you know, AOC and them. You know what I mean? They're even looking at that. AOC, she, she's supposed to be all this and whatever she's supposed to be. You know, with the immigrants and all this that stuff. But her biggest constituency is Rikers Island. She don't say nothing about no justice and whatever have you. So all this is people are starting to examine the kind of things. And the people that's in most the place to take most advantage of stuff is ADOS because we exist in nodes all over the thing and we have the little political power nodes if we activate them if they get activated I'm not speaking for ADOS I can't because you know I'm just ob- observing because you know I'm a witness traveler I, I'm, I'm rootless I'm not even supposed to be here anyway so so, so the point is it's a good op- it, it's better than we think if we take you know if we well if no we have to keep on going because reparations you know repair you know because we're in a state of disrepair people think that they well we got to repair ourselves and the only way to repair is through is through reparations and um, and then that that will happen so i'm i'm happy for whatever is going on for people to pay attention to politics and all the rest of that stuff and uh we'll see what happens you know we'll, we'll see what the this year and uh, and uh, and and the future will bring happy 2021. 20,